All right, guys, I am back with my review of last week's episode of the Ring of Honor TV show for January 19th, 2013. I know I'm really late with this video, but the show starts off with a new intro, new production values for stuff like Tale of the Tape, and I like it. It's definitely an improvement for the show. Caleb Seltzer is still on commentary, um, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. And the first match is Alabama Attitude, which is Corey Hollis and Mike Posey versus Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. And Seltzer actually calls Fish and O'Reilly Team Amphition. <laughs> this, this was a bad line. Um, O'Reilly hits a German suplex on Hollis on the outside. Fish pins Posey after a brain buster by O'Reilly. This was an alright tag match. Charlie Haas cuts a promo talking about all the people he hates. Now, Charlie Haas has been doing this thing on YouTube, on the Ring of Honor YouTube channel, the Charlie Haas holes or uh, stuff he hates. And I don't think it's a bad idea, but the videos are so short and it's just something like Charlie Haas, some football team he hates. Or Charlie Haas hates ugly people. And it'll be like something really short and the videos are like nine seconds. And I think it's not a bad idea if they just made the videos longer. Instead, it's kind of like they're just spamming their subscribers with nine second videos. And where is Hoopla with Truth Martini? Because those were great. So Nigel comes out and calls out Jay Lethal. He says he had no choice but to kick him out after he spit on him at Final Battle. And he says he won't fine him or suspend him. He's going to give him a warning. <laughs> and Lethal says he understands the warning. He respects his position but he still wants to get his title shot. And Nigel says his hands are tied. The only person who can change this is Kevin Steen. And that was pretty much the whole segment. Um, I really like this. I like how Jay Lethal is just getting more and more frustrated because there's absolutely nothing he can do. I mean, he's completely screwed here. Kevin Steen has all the power. And like I said before, I think it was a little before Final Battle, uh, the way I see this playing out, as Jay Lethal just starts to attack Kevin Steen repeatedly during his matches and Kevin Steen gets pissed off and says you come out you whine about wanting a title shot you want your title shot come and get it something to that effect that's how I see this going BJ Whitmer versus Adam Cole for the TV title next week Whitmer gets the shot because Nigel hated the way Matt Hardy won at final battle Hardy cuts a promo he says He's pissed. He won with the sweetest small package anyone's ever seen. This was good. A Whitmer promo on his injury and how he will win the TV title. Steve Carino blames Nigel for spreading rumors that Kevin Steen isn't the same after his ladder war match and says that Steen is fine. The 2013 Prospect Tournament starts with QT Marshall versus Mike Seidel. Um, this match... When you take two guys who I guess are still rookies, as far as the rest of the roster goes, and you put them in matches together, you're going to get some botches. And there was definitely some botches, some miscommunication in this match. It wasn't a completely terrible match, but it definitely was not as smooth. Um, and it just it's hard to get the crowd into a match like this. So, I don't know how the rest of this tournament's going to go, but um, Truth Martini was on commentary. That was pretty funny. Seidel hits a moonsault off the top rope onto QT and Artie Evans on the outside. And QT hits the running dominator for the win and advances. No surprise here. I said when they announced the tournament, I expect QT and Marshall to win the entire thing. So, Caprice and Cedric promo on how they respect the Briscoes, but it's time for them to win the tag titles. Briscoes talk about how they respect CNC, but they're going to kick their asses and will never lose the titles again. So CNC versus the Briscoes for the tag titles. This was a pretty good match here. CNC looked really strong in this match, but the Briscoes win with a Doomsday device. And I know they use the Doomsday device as their finisher, but to be honest, the rest of their moves look more pr impressive to me, um, in my opinion, anyways. I think the other moves are more impressive. And then they end up finishing them off with a dominator where they just clothesline them off the top. And it's just, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense. It's just a wrestling thing. So the Briscoes win the match here. 
And afterwards, they all shake hands with each other. And then Carino, Jimmy Jacobs, and Rhino, wearing a scum t-shirt, attack them. They lay them all out. And that's how the show ended. So I'm thinking maybe a four-on-four -four match with Kevin Steen, Rhino, Jacobs, and Carino versus CNC and the Briscoes. Or if they want to take Kevin Steen out because he's got his hands full with Jay Lethal, they could have someone else join Scum and do a four-on-four -four tag match. <clears throat> but I would like it to be someone, because Rhino joining, I'm glad they finally got a new member, but Rhino was already a heel, and he's not on TV all the time. And I would really like them to have a baby face, surprise everyone, turn, and join Scum. Something like that, maybe have that happen, and then they got a, a team of four, plus Kevin Steen can go do his thing with Jay Lethal. Um, so I think that would be pretty interesting, and they have to do something with the rest of the members of Scum, so I guess we'll see what happens with that, but as far as the show goes, I enjoyed the show. I think they're off to a great start this year, and hopefully tomorrow night's show is just as good. So that's my review of last week's episode. hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on the show in the comments, and thanks for watching.